resurrected and ascended. So at some some point between his crucifixion and now, they became believers. Yeah, I think James became pretty prominent in the church. Yes, he was the leader of the Jerusalem church at one point. I believe so. Yeah. But he didn't believe in the beginning. Yeah, it was evident, I think, in one of the uh, Gospels that his brothers had not believed when he was, a, when he was on the earth. Because there, there was that time when he was with his apostles, or, or with others also, and they said his brothers and sisters, his mother and brothers and sisters were out. Because they had come thinking he was crazy, and they had said, we need to come get this boy and talk some sense into him, but Christ was doing what he had to do. So clearly at that time, they were not far. We don't know what the age difference is either between him and his folks. That's true. That's true. We know they less than 33. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah the interesting true. thing is, they make very little note of his father, Joseph, the earth of the God. That's right. He's yeah. just disappeared. And the speculation hmm. is that he probably passed away at some point. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, for those of you who are research mind, mm -hmm. yes, Michael. You may yes, <laughs> you absolutely. I'll be taking up. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, he's, Luke has written and told us about the disciples and the apostles returning. They're in the upper room in the house that they stayed in. And they continued in one accord. They were praying. Supplication. With the women. Then something happened. Verse 15. And in those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples. Altogether, the number of names was about 120. Okay. So here, here we get an idea of the, number of, of the number of people who are in this upper room praying in one accord. We're going to find out later the occasion for having all of these 120 or so people. Uh, are they in that, still in that upper room? Uh, yeah, they yeah. they had gone out. Well, this 15 starts out, and in those days, Peter stood up. It didn't say, and then Peter stood up. Now, in the New American Standard Bible, it says for that, at this time. Okay. At this time. So when I read that piece right there, it said to me, in that moment. Some, sometimes... The stage is set where the people are in one accord. They've been <clears throat> praying. They've been in deep supplication with the men and the women. And it's in this occasion, in, in a time like this, that Peter then. It's in the, these circumstances that Peter stood up. Peter's starting to step up into the role that he was supposed to be yes. to be the leader now. Yeah. This 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 verse reminds me of when Luke and we read in Luke where Christ said to restore Peter. That restoration of Peter to me means that to get him into a position where he can now take on this leadership role. Because Peter wasn't <laughs> wasn't ready to do that before. He got restored. Peter was restored to his original position of confidence that Jesus was the Son of God and that he could openly support him and acknowledge that. And he had all this evidence that he could present. Yeah. Let's see what he did. 15, Jen. Okay, I'll read the whole thing in and in those days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples. Altogether the number of names was about 120, and said, Men and brethren, this scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke before by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered with us, 
and obtain a part of this ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the wages of iniquity, and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle, and all his entrails gushed out. Who is he talking about? Judas. Judas. People, you know, people talk about Judas hanging himself. And people, I mean, Peter is giving, giving an account that doesn't include any hanging. No. He's talking about an accident that he had. Yes. But it, it doesn't mean the hanging didn't occur. Uh, in addition to this, because otherwise, how could he hang and and burst up in the middle? How can the Bible have a conflict? Uh, uh, it has got to be reconciled go ahead, somewhere. Charles, what, uh, what you what, say? Some place, other place, the, the Bible says he hanged himself. Here is saying Peter is saying he burst up and all the trails gushed out. Somehow, some way, the two have to be reconciled. Otherwise, you got a conflict. The Bible that. So how are you reconciling that? I say he did the same thing. He, he maybe hung himself, and fell down from the sky. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, it says and falling headlong. Come on, look at it. That's it. And falling That's headlong, it. he burst open in the middle, and all his entrails gushed out. A rest so, peace. See, he he was hanging, but he when he fell, he he. he Oh, and for him to fall headlong, that means he was pretty high up. Yeah. He was pretty high up because if he wasn't that high up, he would have fell foot first. His, his yeah. lower body would have hit first. Right. But it says he fell headlong. headlong. So he was upside down when he was back almost. <laughs> Come on, you can say it. No, I, I, Charles, you're right. That's, no, what, that's what you need to say. You don't know what I'm talking about. I'm home for real. You don't know what I'm talking about. That's a great point. Somebody's going to talk about it. Oh, you just bring this stuff that I'm not to agree with us. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. You don't know he fell <laughs> off the head. It doesn't He says falling headlong. It doesn't say anything about somebody being in here and putting no. down. Look at that, that Lenny, Lenny explanation. His head was so big it fell down first. <laughs> that's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm home for real. <laughs> <laughs> my only point is the Bible can't have two different versions of the same thing. They have to be reconciled. That's right. All we know is that he committed suicide. <laughs> and he died. And he died. <laughs> and, 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 so he, and Peter is giving us his account of what? Luke, he heard. I mean, Luke. Luke yeah. Is, uh, no, Luke is giving the account, his account of what Peter said mm -hmm. had happened. Yeah. Okay. And nineteen. And it became known to all those dwelling in Jerusalem, so that Phil is called in their own language, Archel Dama, that is, Phil of Blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his dwelling place be desolate, and let no one live in it, and let another take his office. Who's he talking mm -hmm. about? Mm -hmm. Talking about Judas. Talking and about Judas now, and, and replacing Judas <coughs> yes. among the uh, apostles. Okay. Right. See, that, that's always um, uh, caused me a little confusion in that they're getting ready to choose another apostle to take Judas's place. Mm -hmm. Well, I always thought the apostles were people that were selected by Christ himself. The ones that, that, that uh, yeah, because that's how Paul becomes an apostle, because Christ chose him. And I, was, I also heard um, some years back, one of the things that classified them as an apostle it, um, was people who literally saw him right, and had an encounter with him, Jesus. you know, which... Quite which the twelve disciples definitely do that, but now Paul also falls into that category because Christ revealed Himself to Paul. Right. And I, I, I struggled with that for years because then I'm hearing in this day and age so many people being referred to as apostle, and I'm thinking in my mind, okay, can you share, you know, when it happened, you know? When Christ appeared, he said, "Where were you traveling when he met you?" So, so I you think, know. but I think that this selection process shows that that definition you placing on apostleship isn't necessarily required, because this apostle he was about to be selected, and he did not 
to your point, he wasn't slapped by Christ other than they prayed about it, and you, one would think that the Holy Spirit guided them in this selection process, but this, this apostle didn't have an encounter with Christ. Re remember this now, also, that I don't want to get ahead of it, but the power of the Holy Spirit that came to these people. Jesus told them a long time ago that he was going to give them power to do things. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. But that, and, that power hasn't come yet, though. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Well, the Holy Spirit hadn't come, but Jesus had given them the power if they asked God for anything that it was within the will of God it would be done. Mm -hmm. So we don't know whether or not they prayed and said, Lord, if it's your will, show us the man and we'll install him. But they had, they, they were in a position to receive the right to do this from God because they were believers and followers. Yeah, I, I'm just pointing out that, you know, I don't necessarily believe that everybody that Nowadays, today, in today's world, that says that they're apostle, unless they're an apostle. But my my point is that you could have post Christ apostles because this person is selected as an apostle and he doesn't have an encounter with with, with, with Christ. So that shows that you can have an apostle without necessarily that individual having an encounter with Christ. Well, there were the, the these were the original apostles. But now when, when Jesus left, you know, Paul writes that he gave the power That's right. for That's some right. to be teachers, apostles, some apostles, apostles some pastors, 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 pastors some so evangelists. Jesus, evangelists, Jesus gave the power to them right. to make these people give those titles and functions mm -hmm. to people. So these guys were within the will of God. In doing this, but then they didn't. They obviously they didn't have the will to pick one. They picked two, and then drew stars. Well, let, 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 let's, let's, yeah, let's, yeah, he didn't either. tell. He didn't tell them how to do it. <laughs> 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 you have the power to yeah, do it. Yeah, it's just like twenty-three. That's why we don't learn yeah. anything about what that is. What do you do? Just like May and Ken, <laughs> permission May. Can and oh, but but you know you could for that matter, Charles. You could go back to all of these apostles. There's a very few of you here here about. It's just the the, 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 the the select few of those of those twelve that was even significant. That's true. Uh, you best I mean, you better, you better heard, heard about them. That's why it's good that they named them here. Luke went and named them all because you wouldn't know who they were. Uh, and Matthias is no different than most of these other the, the, the apostles. Okay, let's let's move on. Well, the reference is from the Old Testament that uh, Peter is referring to. That. Okay, let's go. Okay, on. now twenty-one. Therefore, of these men who have accompanied us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John to that day when he was taken up from us. One of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. Okay, you, you see what they're saying. They went back. One of these guys who've been following around, not one of the 12 that Jesus called, but another one of these guys who've been following around with us ever since the beginning, who saw him and witnessed him, they're choosing from among that group. Yeah. Hmm. Go ahead. So here's a, another limitation, though. We're keeping from spreading to modern day where everybody calls themselves an apostle. You either have to be chosen by Christ yes. or chosen directly by the man Christ chose. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're coming and off also with, a witness. You're coming yeah. up with these definitions. I'm just trying to. I just, I, just, I, I just. I resist the idea that there are modern day apostles and apostles equivalent. To the twelve apostles. Well, remember, you said you said the apostles were ones who were appointed by uh, Jesus, correct, and who had been in, in in contact with him. Yes, these it just said that these were men who had been around them right. from the beginning. Right, I'm right. accepting that. Right. Yeah, yeah. Except I they, that. they weren't they were, had been around from the beginning, but they weren't thought enough for him to select one of them though. You mean before you now? Mean? Yeah, before well, now. He, he just hadn't identified that. He identified his 12. Yes, he should have okay. said that Matthias would be on the bench. 
This is this is the 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 disciples, the apostles themselves said, We've got to have another one. There were twelve of us. And it's just like us playing a game. We got ten guys and we need another one to play football. I mean the team is eleven. But but let me let me speak to that briefly. Everybody on the team was selected. If you're wearing a uniform, you was picked by the coach to be a part of the team. These men here, it is noted, they followed the team. They were the five. They, 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 these were the first substitutes. And they were Correct. Yeah. They, they were witnesses, but the coach hadn't fingered them. Right. Yeah, but they, the, but they were, they were such a big fan of the coach and what the team was doing. They traveled with the team. The coach made note of this, and later on, when this situation happens, that qualified them to now be a part. Now you're being fingered for the team. Yeah. If I'm saying that right, well, it's just like you're using the, the, the uh, analogy of the football team. There's 11 starting players. Mm -hmm. And then there's some substitutes. One of the 11 went down. Okay, let's look at the group who's on the team. Get another one. And put him in on the starting line. That's, that's not, that's not. The, the, context, I'm right. the context I'm saying it in, this is the team that Jesus, the coach automatically put together. I'm not part of the team. The coach never selected me, but I'm such a big fan of this team. No matter where y'all go, be at a home game or on the road, I'm in the stadium with you. This player, God forbid, he got injured or something happened, he couldn't be around for the team. All of a sudden, the coach looks at me and says, that guy. Well, that would be true, uh, a good analogy, then, if it was the coach picking you. But in this case, the coach... In this case, is not picking the other Actually, players. yes, he is. He's just Joe doing it through the rest of the players. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the other team. Guys, <laughs> the exactly. Yeah. Because we can't pick somebody no. to be an apostle no. in and of ourselves. No. Or at least we're not supposed to. And I'm not going to diminish the fact that they were dead by the Lord here, but I mean, we really don't know that because they went through this sort of. This process doesn't seem like they. <laughs> Well, we, we didn't finish reading it, but it doesn't sound like... if they were praying... Uh, let's let's go and finish reading. <laughs> okay, if we continue, I think we'll go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And they proposed to Joseph called Basabas, who was surnamed Justice, and Matthias. And they prayed and mm -hmm. said, You, O oh Lord, who know the mm -hmm. hearts mm -hmm. of all, Show which of these two you have chosen Keep to on. take part in this ministry and apostleship from which Judah by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. All right, so what are they and doing? Then, they, ident they identified these two guys. But they prayed. And then they prayed and said, Lord, which yes. of these two men? Yes, because he, he knows the hearts of all. But he had to rely on the Lord to, Amen. to guide them. <laughs> so, so this was the Lord's doing. And it's good of him to say. All right. All right. Finish up. And, and they cast their lots. Hmm. And the lot fell on Matthias. And he was numbered with the 11 apostles. Okay. So they... You know, instead of saying, raise your hand, all those in favor of raise your hand, all those in favor of raise your hand, they cast their lots. Okay. And that's the way they were, that's the way they made their uh, selection. selection in those days. Cast by lot. Cast your lot. Who are you casting for? And who was chosen? Matthias. He was numbered. With the eleven apostles. So then they became twelve of the apostles again. Hmm. Okay? It's uh, five minutes to seven minutes. Okay. Well, uh, we'll stop here because uh, next week we're going to chapter two. Uh, and 
chapter two is a powerful chapter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Powerful yes. chapter. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Yeah. Whole mm -hmm. lot of things happen in chapter two. So we'll go to chapter two. Any other questions about uh, the beginning? I just want to say to, to the point that Charles made earlier when he sort of played down Matthias, that he's sort of an unimportant apostle. But there's something significant about these being numbered among the 12 apostles. Because they could have just kept the number at 11. Yes. But they had to, to complete the team, so to speak. They had to get that 12th person. And to be called an apostle, they had some significance, apparently, for them to go through that process. But Mike, don't forget, it says in Psalm, the book of Psalm says what it would happen in the Old Testament. Well, that's true, but okay. I'm, I'm just referring to Charles because he sort of laid down Matthias as like a... So yeah, he's a sucker's finger. You're like, you only got the plane because I'll starve right now. <laughs> the same can be said for Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Only yourself, you can be exalted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other questions, comments? I just, I, I just want to read that that last piece. It goes back to a statement you made earlier in the chapter. Um, there's something that happens because this whole thing started out with them getting together as a whole. The eleven men, and they included the women. I think that piece right there, particularly in this day and age, is extremely significant. Extremely significant. And they prayed and continued. They devoted themselves. These are key words that the scriptures are highlighting here with this. And when that happened, this is how we get to Matthias being numbered among the twelve. I say all that to say this one thing, the number shut up. What if they didn't devote themselves to getting... What if the men just got together and didn't include the women and excluded them intentionally? What would happen if they all got together? But And it also said they were the one mind. They were united. This was highlighted by the scriptures. The things that happen when we get together and we're united in our cause, this is what God does. He does, and that's what that's the thing that oh that's the something that always happened. When we do that piece right there, God said, now nah, I'm going to inject myself into the Through situation. prayer and supplication. And, supplication. and that supplication is what we many of us don't spend enough time knowing what it is. Amen. And when we do it and how we do it. And that's a lesson I'm going to prepare. But to the really point, boss, uh, um, justice to a woman that wasn't chosen could have been one of these people that were murmuring and yeah, complaining. Doing, complaining that he wasn't picked, but yeah. we don't see evidence of that. No. They were going to want to pull it. Well, remember right. the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the, and, the, and the scribes are still around. Mm -hmm. They ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. They're 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 they think justice, they're not in there walking up the thigh saying, Oh, yeah, my spot, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want to do. That's all what he said. He said it's all according to your will, dear God. Oh, you want to call it. Michael said you still want to call it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you now, Father, for allowing us to come oh, together and study your words. We thank you, Father, for those in the tents and things. We pray, Father, for those that had a desire to be with us today, but weren't able to make it. That they're ready to join us the next time we come together. We pray now, Father, as we depart this service and move into our worship service, that you lead, God, and direct us in the way that you will have us to be. Bring those that are on their way here safely, Father. And let everything be done in decent in order. Yes, Lord. And for this, Father, we thank you and we give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Yes, in Jesus' name, in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Okay, let me say something real quick to everybody. Uh, this morning.